What's happening, y'all? LAR movement still moving. Book entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father. Amazon Kindle Create Space. Giving what you've never got. Giving what you've never gotten. Oh, come on, Charlie. My heart is yearning for you. Yearning for. Okay, anyway, you know, some of us came up hard, you know. And we have this issue. And I say we because I'm one of them type of people. I'm one of those people who you um you, people want you to be something for them and to give something to them that you've never gotten you know it, from them you know people want your loyalty in and they want you to be down for them and to to show your care and devotion to them when They've never cared. They were, they were never loyal to you. They were never down for you. They're never devoted to you. Actually, they want your loyalty while they have opportunism. So they want you to give to them something that you've never gotten. You know? You know, people want, your, want support. You know, sometimes whether it be family or friends, they want you to go the extra mile for them. You know, support their ideas, their dreams, their aspirations. Get behind them. You know, give them confidence when they're down. Give them life when they're feeling death. Make the sacrifice for them to be a better person so, so they know somebody believes in them. But the problem with that is they ask for something that you've never got. You may be a self-made person. I can't say I'm per se a self-made person. The people that help me the most are dead. And I definitely um, am one of those people who the people that believed in me have done for me. I've done, I broke my neck to return a favor, but those people, everybody depended on. So I'm personally surrounded by people who are, are uh, not dependable. Like, matter of fact, I'm going to use myself as an example right now. So I was at, I was with a friend of mine and uh, I was at work and the coworker was like, okay, we need your emergency contact information. Like, who are we going to call in case of emergency? I'm like, call who? For me? Shit, you better call me in case of emergency because I'm the cavalry, goddammit. I can't call no motherfucking body. Mm -mm. Might sound sad and cold. I know people. I'm related to people. Uh, I, I love people. Some people say they quote unquote love me, but I know good and goddamn well if it's a life or death situation, I gotta get my goddamn self out of it. You know, it's a shootout and I get shot, nigga. I better get the fuck. I, I, I better be the shooter and patch myself up and drive myself to the hospital while I still got consciousness, cause ain't nobody to call. Now, now that doesn't mean I'm not other people's emergency contact. Other people, man, I'm, I'm are you always there when I need you, baby. You always there for me. And, uh, let me say, well, I'm glad I'm there for you. I know when you're going to be there for me at my motherfucking funeral. Because you ain't going to be there for me while I'm living, goddammit. You know. And there are people like, just like me who have that same feeling. Like, mm, nigga, mm, you know what I'm saying? But to a degree, it's a good thing. Sometimes it's a, it's a, it's a burden. Sometimes it's a blessing. Because sometimes you want to be what you've never gotten. As a matter of fact, because... Once you become to the, once you get yourself in a position to be able to give the things that you've never gotten from people, you also get there with the discernment of who actually needs the help. You know, um, and a lot of people don't don't for some odd reason get that part that you know because sometimes I've been around those people who who expect your help because they're accustomed to helping. Like you don't need help. 
You always asking for help. That's your fucking problem. When you gonna get up off your shoulders? We gonna pick your goddamn self up. When you gonna do that? When you gonna actually stop being a fucking quitter? When you gonna do that? Maybe you too comfortable in having everybody else pick up the pieces for your ass. That's why you never fix shit. Because you can see that if you're a person who who's who is giving things that you've never gotten. You sometimes people don't have the luxury of having family and friends as a support system. Sometimes you just own your own. And you know, God bless the child who's got his own, right? So, but at the same time, you know, I see, you know, my child, you know, little cousins, brothers, nieces, nephews. I can give them the conversations that I never had. And I can give them some of the experiences that I've never experienced. Like even some, sometimes I had to tell my son, son, some of the shit that, that, that not some of the shit, <laughs> pretty much a bulk of the shit that he does and gets through me. Yeah, those are shit I was like, I wish I, damn, you know, I wish. I won't go back to my child and just look, ah, damn, I wish I did have that experience, you know. But sometimes, you know, you got to ask yourself, you know, um, is it worth it? And I would say it is because it's not about you. You know, sometimes, and I, I know in the beginning, I'll probably come off harsh, but when you're able to give what you've never gotten, you realize it's not about you. You realize it's bigger than you. You realize that, you know, it's a difficult thing to do because to be honest, there's going to always be some resentment there because you start to realize as you get older and you get more comfortable and you get in a, in a, in a, a different space and a position in life that um, it wasn't that people couldn't do it for you, it's that they wouldn't. You weren't a priority. They just didn't like you like that, you know. They they didn't care like that. A lot of and I'm be I'm just keeping it 100 with people. See, a lot of people swear that they care about people, and they they care in theory. They don't care for real. Cause when you care for real, that that's an action. You got to do something. Love is an action. Caring is an action. So, a, a lot of the when it's time to uh, commit to an action, to show how much you actually down for somebody. Motherfuckers go AWOL, you know, MIA, you know, they're just gone. But they tell you that, you know, I really, I really love you. You know, I'm always there for you. You know, you know, I would never leave you. You know, I would never forsake you. You know, I would, I'm always going to, I'm going to always be right on time. And when it's right on time, when everything else is handled, because that motherfucker ain't going to never show up for you. Uh... And it, because of stuff like that, you're resentful. You're bitter. You're upset. And then you're like, yeah. But in a weird way, it makes you stronger because you survive. You get yourself in a position to be the person that's there for other people. Because some of these some of these children out here need that guidance. They need that person to understand what it's like to not get what you need and when you can give to somebody else the things that you've never gotten you are a truly blessed individual you know um and and in more ways than one because it's not that it's full circle like i saw something great like um they had this, this colorblind grandparent. They got him some shades that make him see color, right? And um, he put them on. He saw color for the first time, and he cried, you know. And I understood that. My grandmother was colorblind, you know. So I could see what my grandmother would have saw in that moment if she put them glasses on, you know. I got another, my other grandmother that passed, you know, 
her dad died when she was eight or nine and he told her before she died that you gotta you know you gotta be the leader of the family so the little girl she was wasn't a little girl no more because she had to be a leader of the family because she was the smartest one and her dad knew it you know my grand my great granddad knew that so she was to us what she never had you know a guiding hand that made sure that you know people were covered by their parent you know she she wasn't covered by a father through death it wasn't and my my great grandfather didn't want to be there he died of cancer at when she was young um but when she passed when both of them passed my grandfather my, one of my grandfathers is still alive the other one he died of a stroke but shell shocked also but good good man good man um same thing he wanted to to, to give his children life that he didn't have you know and a lot of times when you do that to people when you give what you've never gotten it sometimes it, it, it cripples people because it enables them and, and makes them entitled but some of them don't understand it when they're the one that you're getting doted upon but when they have children it does also set the standard of what you need to really do you need to be something bigger and greater than you are and, and be a giver of things that you've never had because you know when you're giving the things in life that you've never gotten out of life or from people it comes from a more sincere place in my opinion and it comes from a, 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 a true genuine love and humanity um, I know this is, this is emotionally went a lot of different places, didn't it? Yeah, right, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to the gym.